Okay, hi everybody. I just wanted to quickly go through a video here where I review the process of choosing which trig ratio you're going to use in a question. And remember, it's all about the angle. Okay, the angle is once you are, you're either going to be given an angle or you're going to be asked for an angle. That angle identifies whether the sides that you're looking at are opposite or, or adjacent here. So let's take a look at this first one. If angle A is my focus here, then I know that this side over here is my opposite and this side is my adjacent. So it's going to be the adjacent side. This will be the opposite. And regardless of what happens here, C is going to be the hypotenuse. So the sine ratio is going to be little a over C, okay, opposite over adjacent. Cosine is going to be the adjacent, B over C. And tangent will be the opposite over the adjacent. On the other hand, though, if I choose B as the angle that's of interest to me, that makes little b over here the opposite. Little a here is going to be the adjacent side. And so now my ratios become uh, little b over c, that's opposite over uh, hypotenuse. This is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And here this would be b over a to be opposite over adjacent. So it depends on the angle. So now let's take a look at a couple of problems here. Okay, whoops, and I knew... I knew I needed to make a change here. Sorry, this one was supposed to be uh, 8 and X. And I'll come up here and do this one. So now, look at this. I've got this angle of 56 degrees. I'm looking for the side opposite it. And I'm given the hypotenuse. I know that that pair is a sine ratio. So the sine of 56 degrees is going to equal X over 23. My calculator tells me that the sine of 56 degrees, that ratio of opposite to hypotenuse should be 0.8. 8290, and that's going to be x over 23. Put that over 1. We'll cross multiply. And then I'll go to my calculator and evaluate that, and I'll get that it's going to be 19.1 units, whatever those units happen to be. Okay, but the issue here is that I was able to identify what trig ratio that was. Here, I've got this 33 degrees. The side that I've given is the adjacent side, and the one that I'm looking for is the hypotenuse. Well, when I put adjacent and hypotenuse together, that is a cosine ratio. So that's the cosine of 33 degrees will equal 8 over x. So I'll go to my calculator. My calculator tells me that that, that ratio is uh, 0.8387. That's what it should be. Okay, when I'm looking at 33 degrees, I'll put that over 1. So now I will cross multiply. And because my, my variable was in the denominator, the next thing I'm going to do here is division. So it'll be 8 divided by 0 0.8387. And now I go to my calculator, do that final step, and now I'll round it to the nearest tenth, and I get 9.5 units for my hypotenuse. Now, finally, I'm going to look at a situation here where I'm, I'm given some sides, but I don't know what the angle is. And that's going to be a different type of function here. Here's my angle. That means this is my opposite side, and this is my adjacent side. And I know that that means this is going to be a tangent problem. So 14 over 3, opposite over adjacent. I don't need to use the regular tan function because I know what the ratio is already. The regular tan function gives you the ratio. So what I want is to use that inverse tangent ratio or second tangent on my calculator. And when I plug that in and round that, I get uh, to the nearest degree, I get 78 degrees. Okay, so the issue here is about identifying the angle that you're given with, uh, or, or that you're look, asking for and then using that to identify what information you're, you're given and from there to determine what trig ratios you're going to have to use.